Star Report. I'm your host, Star. Welcome to the show. Folks, Carly Russell, the Alabama nursing student, has apologized by way of her lawyer. Um, Carly nor her lawyer were at the press conference today in um, Hoover, uh, Alabama, but she has apologized, released a statement, and it was all one big hoax, okay? How do you feel? Do you want to see Carly arrested? Do you want to see charges brought forth? Well, at the press conference, the... Uh, the police chief would not elaborate. He was very, still very kind, shall we say, patient with this 25-year-old. Um, Carly Russell's mother was not at the press conference. I want to see Carly Russell's mother front and center, the same way she was doing interviews with ABC and NBC. I want to see her now speak because she was very defiant when... Um, Carly first came home, you know, from the alleged uh, abduction. Carly's mother was sitting there, and before the woman could even finish the question about, do you think that Carly really had to fight to get loose? She said, oh, yes, yes, physically and mentally. Was this orchestrated by Carly's mother? Is Carly Russell the victim of conditioning, programming, and grooming? Folks, if you don't know, I am fighting the war on mammies, okay? I go after, you know, different uh, cultures, you know, from time to time. Right now, it's the mammies. The mammies are defiant for the most part. They will never admit to fault or wrongdoing. Um, and never, ever will they be accountable for their actions. Um so that's my top story tonight. Phone lines are open right now. Uh, Cash App, Super Chat. Also, um, Charlotte. Um, wow, a tragedy. A tragedy out of Northwest Charlotte, to be precise. 51 years of age, Stephanie Alexander came home. This is the story. Came home and caught Tyra Crosby, 25 years of age, in her home with her husband, shot and killed her. Now, there was a vigil held um, by uh, family, friends, a, a huge turnout. And they want, they want Stephanie Alexander, who was arrested uh, and then released less than five hours later, posted bond, charged with manslaughter, not murder. I'm calling Stephanie a mammy. You can see her picture in my community section. She's an older woman. You can see the gray edges. But, but let's be objective. D did she catch the alleged jump off slipping? Did she catch the side piece violating her space? Do what you want to do out there with him. But baby girl, you're in my home. Pow, pow, pow. Now, supposedly there is audio that um, uh, Tyra... Crosby's mother has where she's claiming you can hear Stephanie Alexander pistol whipping and torturing her daughter for roughly eight minutes. OK, we're going to get into that. But the main story, again, uh, Carly Russell has apologized by way of a lawyer. I have the statement here. Give me a minute. I just said uh, I had some issues, technical issues here early uh, earlier. OK, so um, good evening. I'm sorry, guys. How are you? Can you hear me? Audio spelling, we good, we good. I also want to talk about a few other topics this evening, okay? Had a long day, but we will comb through this uh, Carly Russell <sighs> apology. Do you want to see Carly Russell arrested? 25 years of age. Most of us have daughters, nieces, nephews, grandkids. They do foolish things. They don't think things through. And today they have social media, which allows us to see the insanity, the ignorance, you know. Carly Russell, a nursing student, 25 years of age, and, and call, after combing through her IG page, I mean, I, I kind of get a sense that she was a, a kind natured person. Am I wrong? Frank White, I got your donation. Is Carly the victim? The victim of her mother's conditioning, programming, and grooming. 
Area code 980, are you there? Talking about Carly Russell, her apology for the hoax. 980. Are you Uh-oh. there? 980? I'm here. I'm here. Hang on. Hey, good evening. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Sorry, this is Chelsea from North Carolina. Hey, hey. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Charlotte. Uh-oh. Charlotte, huh? <laughs> Charlotte. Are you, are you up to speed on what happened out um, there? I'm in I'm in Salisbury. We're 45 minutes from Charlotte. Okay, okay. What so do you surrounding want, areas. Where do you want to start, dear? Where do you want to start? <laughs> I got time tonight. I want to start with... <laughs> I want to start with the mammy in Charlotte. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'll just say that, you know, um, I do not believe that because there's no really no details with that. Um, but I do not believe that the young lady was a sex worker. Um, I think that maybe she probably had some other side business going on with the man. That's why she was there at the house. Um, I do think that, uh, in the state of North Carolina, we do practice the heat of the passion law. So mm-hmm. that's why her charges is... We're going to get to that. Oh, we're going to get to that. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Um, uh, so I'll just say that, you know what, Mammy, maybe she could have been working a 12-hour shift on the cat's bus. Mm-hmm. Uh, our cat's bus system has had a shootout about two months ago with a bus driver on the bus. Um so I don't know. Maybe she had that thing on her. You know, maybe she had been having a wild night on the bus. Uh, came home. Oh, buddy, you know, he could have been having the best sleep of his night, uh, of his life. Um, <laughs> she might have seen the bottle of wine open. That might have been her best bottle of wine. And she's like, you know what? I'm going I'm, I'm to shake things up tonight. I'm going to take it there. And there we are. Okay. Stay with me because, uh, yes, the heat of um... – <laughs> The heat of the passion uh, uh, law that you referenced. Uh, and for those who don't know, uh, Stephanie Alexander, 51 years of age, was uh, arrested and released hours later. She made bond um, charged with manslaughter, not with murder. Now, uh, I never referenced Tyra Crosby as a sex worker. Uh, I, and I'm not assuming that either. Let's just let's be, no, cl- let's be clear. No, I know. Um, but that's what you said. That was something. Uh-uh, uh-uh. We didn't say that here. I'm not... People are in mourning. No, a morning. There has, say that. There has been that. a vigil. Let's not put that on her. She could have been a, a nice, sweet young girl, caught up in some that's bullshit. True. Caught that's up in true. some bullshit, and 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 paid the price with her life. Now, um, uh, 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 Stephanie Alexander's husband, according to the police, called her and invited her over. This is how she got to the home. Are you at speed on that? Mm. I am not. I missed that part. Yeah. I missed that part. Yeah. I missed that part. Now, on the internet, when? on the internet, they're saying mm-hmm. that that uh, uh, it's a totally different story. That Stephanie, uh, fifty-one years of age, allegedly convinced him to call her. Found out that she was the jump off and told her to come on over here. And the law that you referenced, I heard that. Say, too. say it again. The law that you referenced. Yes, um, the heat of the passion. Heat of the passion. So let me ask you, did Stephanie catch this girl slipping, uh, convinced her her husband, not her boyfriend, her husband, call that bitch, tell her come over here, and then shot her inside the (laughs) home, knowing she was going to do it. I mean, I'm just assuming. And now she only caught a manslaughter charge instead of murder. Come on. You from North Carolina. Now, if that now if that is the case, because I did hear that story too, if that is the case where the young lady was lured in there, both of them need to be charged with something uh, other than, especially for her, other than voluntary manslaughter, of course. Um, and I guess I don't know. I I, I did see a comment on. Um, well, how old are you, darling? How old are you? What? How old are you? I'm thirty-two. Thirty what? Thirty two. I'll be thirty three on the twenty seventh. Thirty two. Thirty two. We may have to give this one to Mammy Stephanie Alexander, fifty one years of age. She, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Listen, this is the objective perspective. <laughs> she may have thought this through and said, "I got to get this young bitch up in this house. I know the law." The same Florida. I can't do that little stand your ground thing. I get her up inside the house, and whatever mm-hmm. happens. I'm going to beat this, 
and, and we have what we have. What do you think about that? And I think that easily could be the case. I think that, you know, um, she, because I mean, look at it like this. If she had proof that her husband was having an affair on her, easily she could have called for a divorce. Easily she could have sued, you know, the husband and her, you know, um, because we do do that as well in North Carolina. I don't know the name of the law, but, you know, you can't get sued if you uh, have proof that, you know, your spouse is stepping out on their marriage um, with the said person who knows that they're married. Um, but at the same time, you know, maybe her, maybe, maybe her husband ain't have shit. Maybe the man, excuse my language, maybe the, the girl didn't have anything yeah, to yeah. offer her. And I, I guess at that point, you know, killing her, I guess, was, I guess, a better theory. It wasn't. Maybe Stephanie Alexander is a mammy from the South. And as I've always said before, mammy's, mammy's in the South. They get busy. Up North, they do a they whole lot of pump faking. In the South, they let you uh -huh. know this is what it is. But thank you for the call, dear. Thank you. Thank you. I um, plan to donate through a super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. I don't have to be right, but we got a 51-year-old. You can see her picture in my community section. She's got gray edges. Suing people. I ain't got time for all of that. Get that bitch up in the house here, right? She may have put the 380 or the snub nose to her husband's temple and said, call the bitch and tell her to come over here. You've been using, you've been using our debit card to send that bitch a cash app? <laughs> Uh, oh, uh, other sorts of uh, uh, paying for Uber Eats. Tell that bitch, come on over here. And then she came. Came in the house and, you know, maybe she thought something was going to, uh, you know, transpire a financial transaction. And then Stephanie pops up. Come, comes out of the next room and says, ain't you is, uh, what's her name? Tyra? Ain't you is. When, when a man from the South says, ain't you is, it's about to be up and stuck. <laughs> Gonna get an amen in the live chat. <laughs> it's about to be up. Ain't you is the girl gonna have a seat. Turns her back, reaches in, in, in the bra and, and gets the 380. Not, not the, the big ass Glock, the 380. And it hits her upside the head. Pow! It's not a laughing matter, but we have to discuss this objectively speaking. Uh oh, uh oh, Florida boy J, sit tight, sir. You up next? I see you. Sit tight, Florida boy J. Ricky Rick, it got your donation. Oh, Ricky Rick says the monkey bitch should serve ten years hard labor. Hard labor where, Ricky Rick? In America, there's no such thing. <laughs> You're thinking of El Salvador, oh, or Russia. <laughs> Is there any jail uh, or prison in America that that issues hard labor? But thank you for your donation. Um, this is not a laughing matter. Condolences, if I haven't said this already, to the family of Tyra Crosby, 25 years of age, a baby. Hundreds of people showed up to the vigil. Did she get outsmarted by an older mammy, an older mammy who, who thinks like Star? I'm too old to tussle and fight with you. I'm going to set you up, get you in a position where, you know, I can, I can deal with you a little, a little better, you know, to my advantage. Florida boy Jay, good evening, sir. Florida boy Jay. N nigga, nah, nigga, what we doing? I thought... I thought it was a war on mammies. It is. Now we have to have grace and patience. Nah, nigga. We, it's, it's one or the other. I, you got niggas guns ready. It's about to be war on mammy 2023. And now we got to have grace. And we can't have no grace. We got to keep our foot on mammy neck. Just like old girl did in West Charlotte. Keep your foot on mammy neck. They out of line. They want to renegade. They want to have hoax. They want to spend taxpayers' money. You got to keep our foot on their necks and reprimand the bad behavior that's been on display all summer. Am I wrong? Well, let me respond to what you just said. First of all, it's Northwest Charlotte. That, that's different from just uh, West Charlotte. I've been out there multiple times. Um, I am fighting the war on mammies. I am uh, keeping my foot 
on their necks. Uh, I am uh, putting the pedal to the metal tonight on um, uh, Carly Russell's mother, a.k.a. Cleopatra Jones. But when I said uh, patience, I'm talking about the Hoover Police Department. We can only commend them. They stepped back. They let the trolls do all, the, all that nonsense. They let Carly Russell's boyfriend remove pictures and talk about stop uh, uh, harassing her, bullying her, yada, yada, yada. We finally got a statement. Uh, we now know that it was a hoax, an admitted hoax. But uh, um, as far as, you know, patients, not me in particular, but the Hoover Police Department, I think they played this right. Go ahead. Hey, that's cool, mate. You know, you know, we've been we've been drinking for a few hours, so maybe maybe I misheard, but I, you know, what I'm saying I believe you. You know, what I'm saying um, the whole situation and what you're saying with her mother. Yeah, I think uh, you know she. We do have a, a right to you know ask questions and, and kind of uh, grill her. She was the first one on daytime TV running her mouth, running the cloud up, and now that her daughter's proven to be a liar, running the show. Cool, she know where to be found. Controlling the narrative, even after Carly came home. Now I want to see her. I want to see her front and center. Um, I, I'm just assuming, I'm assuming that she uh, has been grooming Carly for, for this type of uh, behavior, so to speak. Go ahead. Do we have a, a what? Do we have an official state, a statement from the, uh, the AKAs? Have they uh, denounced her on the website? What's going on? Uh, you know, her job did the right thing. Well, where is it? Where's the AKAs? Uh, how, uh, have they put their arms, wrapped their arms around her? Have they stood next to her with the with the green and the in the in the pink with the ski weed? What's going on with that? I have no knowledge. I have no knowledge. Um, but, but did you hear, right. did you hear the uh, the lawyer's statement? D just outright saying there was no kidnapping. My client did yeah. not see a baby. Yep. Um, and, and other things. Uh, my, my client did not leave the Hoover area. My client apologizes for her actions to this community. Carly asked for your forgiveness and prayers. So that's where we are. Yeah. N neither Carly nor her mother were at the, uh, the press conference today. Um, but, you know, to take it where you want to go. I'm, I'm still riding on Mammy's, absolutely. And then I want to talk to you about um, uh, the, the, the details of uh, Northwest Charlotte, please. Okay, yeah, nah, we, like I said before, Mammy, anybody in proximity of Mammy, even her husband should be getting a, 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 a publicly chastised for sitting there with his legs crossed, letting his wife run the show. That's why I keep trying to tell y'all niggas black love is a myth, but you're not going to believe it until, you, until it happens to you. Now, let's, let's go over the details in uh, Northwest Charlotte real quick so I yeah. can uh, put my opinion on that. Okay. Tyra Crosby, 25 years of age, shot and killed inside the home of Stephanie Alexander, 51. She only spent hours um, in, in, in the um, uh, lockup. Uh, she made bond, charged with involuntary manslaughter. Do you know Charlotte or North Carolina laws? Uh, no, I'm not familiar with North Carolina laws, but what I can say, uh, just reading the situation, knowing that she went over there, she probably did not know that the girl's coming home or the wife was coming home wife but this is a class this is a classic case of what our parents tell us what our ogs and our uncles always tell us you about to go get some ass you about to go slide on something bring them to your crib or get a hotel don't be going over to their their spot if you don't know for a fact if they're single because you can go to a girl's house or a girl can go over to a guy's house think everything's copacetic next thing you know mammy's coming in there with the blammer black it out mm -hmm. and then everybody so honestly, it needs to be more of a teaching lesson to all these people out here who like to go to uh, their partner's house and just meet somebody and slide to their crib, not knowing their relationship status. And if you can pick up some keys, some uh, keynotes around the house, maybe it's some, uh, some furniture, some home decor there that's a, a red alert to let you know another woman is living here. It's easier for a woman to sneak a guy in the house because if a man and woman live together, for the most part, the home decor is going to reflect the woman living there. So she should have already walked in and seen certain drapes, certain furniture, certain uh, uh, utensils and, and, and dishes and whatnot that should have gave her context clues that another woman was staying there. I know she's young, but a lot of people have, it's just like what happened with Trouble, the rapper. You going over to a girl? Well, hang, hang on a second. I'm going to respond to what you're saying because I want us to do a deep yeah. dive here this evening. Um, <clears throat> 25 years of age, 
living in the world of social media, not paying attention, getting caught up in a situation, what you're saying, you know, about the signs and so on and so forth. Most people learn by way of trial and error in terms of relationships, the streets, you know. Sadly, sometimes you pay with things with your life. She paid with her life. Um, I, I don't want to give Mammy any credit. That I don't want to do. But objectively speaking, this woman may have lined her up. They're saying on social media, on a few different uh, um, um, uh, platforms, that she told her husband to, to tell the girl to come over. And there's eight minutes of audio with this woman pistol whipping and beating this 25 year old girl so she may not have went in mm. and seen any signs none of that could have been you know anything that took part within her ultimate demise she could have been in love with this guy liking this guy but either way she's dead go ahead okay so let's explore that option <clears throat> so let's explore that option in this facebook culture we live in in black america i don't believe he lured her over, and she didn't know. I think that it's probably going to be some messages, uh, some things uh, that might come out uh, via DMs. That there was probably a back and forth. She probably told her, "Don't you, don't let me catch you at my crib again." And she probably said, "Bitch, I'll pull up there right now and take your man." And, and man, old mammy said, "Come over here and try it." Old girl probably came over there, tested OG mammy. OG Mammy had to lay down young Mammy. You know, it's just what it is. Black on black violence, Mammy on Mammy violence. They're having a war within themselves right now. It's too Right, deep. right, right. <laughs> okay, I can respect that. I can respect that. Um, okay, man. Any, yeah, anything? Started twerking. I'm sorry? No, I was saying, you know, uh, you know, young Mammy probably came in the crib, started twerking, shaking that ass, and old Mammy, you know, she, she gripped up and let it go. But uh, what was you about to say? Go ahead. <laughs> Um, no, no, I, I, I think you've said enough, man. Anything in the world of sports or or are you up to speed on King Yella? Um, he put, put up a, um, a video. Supposedly the essays shot his car up. But was it in San Bernardino? Are you up to speed? I, I'm not up to speed, mm. so I don't want to comment on that. I don't want to comment the on that. The hater misses nothing. I'm still doing, yeah, I'm still doing some research. Uh, when it comes to sports, okay. there's no uh, really uh, big sports news going on. I just want to let you know before I sign off, me and um, Gift and the Curse podcast about to go live in a few. Nice. So go ahead uh, after the Star Report. After the Star Report, go ahead, tap in with us. Watch us, see what we got going on. Okay. We're going live on YouTube, so subscribe to the Gift and the Curse podcast. And Star, you have a wonderful night. Thank, Thank you, man. Once again, man. Good to hear from you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Florida Boy Jay. I want people to have different opinions, different perspectives. Is Carly Russell the victim of her mother's programming, conditioning, and grooming. I like the fact that we've got an apology. I have to say, because, you know, Jussie Smollett never apologized. Defiant! Oh, oh biracial uh, nigga from the North, you know? Well, what did he say when uh, he was in the courtroom and they were he was getting sentenced? Uh, if, if, if something happens to me, what did he say? Damn, he took it left. Tawana Brawley never apologized. At least the Alabama nursing student, Carly Russell, apologized. Folks, there, there was no toddler. There was no black toddler. There was no white toddler. Um, guys, thank you for your support via Cash App. TJ, he says, FBJ keeps his tool inside the Atlanta men. Okay. Brandon says, Star, are OG mammies more thorough than the younger ones? Salute. Yes, 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 if you ask me. This is not a laughing matter. But this tragedy in Northwest Charlotte, I have no proof, but I think that the 51-year-old found a way to get the 25-year-old in the house. Nigga, I'm 59. I'm, I'm not getting in the street, you know, swinging and trying to give somebody Tyson blows half my age. 
A couple of years ago, I had a white boy talking crazy. I'm sitting in the goddamn, I'm sitting in the, sitting in the goddamn double R. I said, open the door. Open the door. He woofing and barking. I'm sitting there, oh, I've gripped up on him. I said, open the door. Open, open the door. If he would have touched that door handle and, and, and pulled it up, pow! <laughs> Your Honor, he's going to kill me. <laughs> Thank you for your donation, Brent. <laughs> Brandon. Uh, okay, Brandon, you sent two, man. Thank you so much. Thank you for your support. Guys, I have new sponsors. I'm going to start promoting tomorrow. Um, what I'm checking out, a very, very, um, uh, very good uh, platform, Florence. Okay, FlorenceAmari.com. In my community section, you'll see a, a very colorful banner, home decor and more. And there's a link to her platform. Okay, we'll talk about that later. Blade, Blade says, Star, the Israeli Wi-Fi that you've got there in Jersey is trash. Okay, thank you, Blade. Blade, you sent me a donation early. Let me see if I can go back and find it. Uh, Blade, I think you were the first person to send me the Carly Russell apology via email. Yeah, yeah, early, okay. Blade says Carly finally admitted that she lied. Yes, she lied. Is she a lying, is she a typical lying black mammy? Folks, we're going there tonight. Phone lines open right now. If you want to ride on her, goddamn ride on her. I mean, don't worry about me asking the question, you know, uh, is she a victim? Maybe she's just a lying, a lying black mammy, you know? Um, Samuel, I got your link. We're going to promote you starting tomorrow as well, okay? Thank you for tapping in. Um, sometimes, sometimes. Okay, I'll get to this person tomorrow. Mike, I got your donation. Carly and her mammy need to do a year and a day. Should Carly be arrested? Should she be arrested, put in the steel bracelets? Has her transgression cut too deep into the fabric of Alabama? Alabama's got some issues, yes, but it hasn't gone to hell like, you know, Atlanta. Gone to hell. Um, Ken, I got your donation. Ben Crump, too much of a hustler. To <laughs> ben Crump, too much of a hustler to believe Carly. Damn. <laughs> uh, Mike says, this has been the year of the mammy. Um, Wayne, I got your donation. Okay. What, what is that, sir? Can you send me a link to your black digital art platform? What are you doing there? I, I can't look right now, but send me a link. I got your donation. Thank you so much. Okay. And, uh, Beryl got your donation. Let's continue to oil the machine. Yeah. And, and I want to talk about, hold on a second. Um, As I said earlier, um, folks, I'm back in New Jersey, and, and I'm having a great time. Today was a great day. I'm just, I'm waking up. I'm getting into this routine of, you know, getting out of the house like at 7.30. I'm, I'm, I'm doing different coffee. I'm not even doing Folgers anymore. I'll tell you what I'm doing later. It's like really, some really fancy shit. I get on the, I get on the road. <clears throat> Um, I, I run a few errands and then I come back home and then I walk to the beach. It's fucking beautiful. <laughs> <coughs> um, Devious J, I got you, sir. Uh, you're on the screen right now, guys. I want you to subscribe to Devious J. Let's go back to Cash App. Poor Legacy, I got you donation. Do you guys want to call in? Do you have new music? Poor Legacy in the building. The life you save will be your own. Hey, Deeds, are you out there? Is the new merch page ready? Deeds. Deeds, are, Deeds is going to be quarterbacking, pardon me, <clears throat> the new merch page. We should be ready um, no later than Thursday. 
But tonight we're talking about the Carly Russell apology. Mark, I got your donation. Uh, she had been the she had been the house before her to go there. I'm I'm not sure. Okay, she had been to the. Okay, you forgot to put to the house. Okay, you're talking about 25 years of age, Tyra Crosby being killed in Northwest Charlotte. Possibly she had been to the house before. If you want to go in on it, you call in right now, you know. Just because there's been a vigil and people crying and boo-hooing does not mean that this girl didn't do something stupid that ultimately cost her her life. I saw her mother, you know, her mother seemed to be a very, you know, respectable woman. Had some type of short blonde wig. Did she not teach her baby the right way to move? Or, or, oh, was she one of those mammies who taught her daughter, girl, you got to use what you got to get what you want. And where's Janet? Janet, where are you tonight? I'm coming to um, PayPal shortly. Where is Janet, guys? Will Janet call in? What does she have to say about uh, the the now hoax and Carly Russell's apology? Janet, are, are you calling in? If not, don't worry about it. I just want to put that out there. Mike, you got your donation. Did FBJ upgrade that old-ass Nissan uh, 350Z? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Lucania, are you calling in, sir? Are you sure that's Lucani? I don't think that's Lucani. Okay, you just you're just talking really crazy about black women. Do you want to call in? This is still the objective perspective. Uh, I'm so glad that we got um, an apology from Carly Russell. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who just sent me? Flamethrower, do you want to call in? Flamethrower just sent me Tyra Crosby's mugshot. Hold on a second. Whoa, what was she into? Let me put this in the live chat. Guys, this is a link. Since we're talking about the, um, the Northwest Charlotte killing i don't want to give mammy credit but but i think we may have to you know we may have to see things from mammy's side huh okay so tyra crosby this looks like her um some type of mug shot okay she's uh, got uh earrings all in the face Ooh. What was she up to? And what what was she arrested for? Flamethrower. I, I, all I see is the mugshot. What was she arrested for? Thank you for your patience. Late night, Monday. Carly Russell has apologized in case you're not up to speed. Uh, the Alabama nursing student. 25 years of age. I want to see Carly's mother, who I'm calling Cleopatra Jones. I think she possibly orchestrated this... Um, Hoax, Carly admitted that this was and is a hoax. There was never a black toddler. There was never a white toddler. No, um, no admission of, of, of drugs or nothing about rehab. We have the statement. I have read the statement. And, oh, there's Janet. Hold on a second. We are discussing this this evening. Area code nine seven three. Janet, thank you uh, for calling in. Where do you want to start, Janet? <laughs> How you doing, Star? Wonderful. I'm enjoying Jersey. I'm back in Jersey. You're in Jersey. You're born and raised in Jersey, like myself. I'm great. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Was and am. You have the floor. Well, you have the floor. I'm, I'm a well, kick. My well, kick back. Come on. 
Well, <laughs> I guess, I guess, you know, it was a hoax, you know. But until, you know, I knew for sure I had to stand, I had to stand by her, you know, because you never know. There's strange things that happen in this world, you know. So that's that's how it goes. Yeah. But, you know, hey, live and learn. I mean, I, what, what else can I say? Well, hang on, Janet. <laughs> no, no, no. Janet, Janet, Janet. people killed me. I respect uh-huh. I respect your intellect. I'm not trying to clown you. Why did you stand by Carly uh, when, when this story first came out the gate? You then gave her credit, which a lot of people found to be odd because you are a, a woman of knowledge. Um, I, I know some of your background. I would never state your, your business, but uh, you're, you're, you're a um, hardworking woman, law-abiding, classy person, a homeowner. Why did you stand by this young 25-year-old black girl from Alabama. Why? Because here's my thing. If she... Okay. Notice that you haven't heard anything about the um, the films, the FBI analyzing everything and all this other stuff. You know, they didn't talk about that at the press conference, right? So there's no update on that. Because there's no update on that because they haven't found anything. And my whole thing is, if she was able to pull this off, I think it was, I I don't say that it was a good thing, Mm -mm. but I'm just saying that it was, you know, it was very clever of her, you know? And I, you know, I could could appreciate it. Because if you're going to do something, do something right. You see how many people out here doing all kinds of stuff, and they, they do it, don't even plan it, don't even think about it, they just do it and just get themselves in so much trouble. My whole thing is, hey, if you're going to commit a crime, make sure you think about it, okay? And she did. And, you know, and I admire that. Mm. You know? It's like the people that walk around. Janet, I want to interrupt and say, please don't say that anymore, that you admire that. You are a woman of a certain age. You're from my generation. You went to great schools growing up, like myself. Um and, and and you you by way of tribalism, I can only assume you 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 co-signed this lie. It was a lie. You're not a liar, Janet. I, you, just, you have a great. I understand. Hang on, let me lie. let I'm me not... finish, Janet. You spoke. Let me speak. You're a homeowner. You're a mother. You have a great career. You co-signed the bullshit. Now let me ask you. Because, again, you're a knowledgeable woman. You have helped me with research, for those who don't know. Do you think that Carly is the victim of her mother's conditioning, programming, and grooming? I don't don't think Carly is that smart. 25 years of age. I think her mother, woo, controlling the narrative from the start, looking at her husband when she was talking to ABC as if to say, don't open your mouth. I'm tired of you. Do you think Carly's a victim here of her mother? I think she's um, heavily, heavily influenced mm. by her mother, and I, I have to, I have to stand up for myself here. I am never defending a lie. I said the fact that she thought it out. These are two separate entities. Janet, in stop. Itself. Janet, I stop, can... stop, Janet. You you defended a lie. Let's move on. Come on, you because okay. you, you're gonna All right. well, we'll put move... yourself we'll into move a, on. a deeper hole. I don't want you to do that. I'm not gonna clown you. Do you think that Carly is the victim here of an older, bitter mammy who is trying to live vicariously through Carly? Come on now. Well, I I think this. I think her mother raised her in a stoic manner that the girl didn't have any chance to breathe. I think her mother laid out a plan for her daughter life. And I think she had her daughter and everybody in that house in line for that path and never let that girl breathe to be who she wanted to be. You understand what I'm saying? I think she educated her daughter. I think she To the epitome of education, I think she educated her daughter, but she didn't let her daughter um, apply that education to life experiences. You understand what I'm saying? 
And I, I think that's what went wrong because if she the girl had common sense, she wouldn't have done that in the first place. You could have thought about it all you want to, but actually applying that, that's where you went wrong. So I think that was bottled up in her. And then when she had the chance to go wild, that's what she did. I think this was, not, I'm not saying this was a myth. What do you think about her mother manipulating her? That's what that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that that stoic you, you, life. You, you didn't say that. You didn't say. You said educating her. I'm 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 outright saying she possibly manipulated her. Again, her mother took mm -hmm. front and center stage, started doing interviews, mm -hmm. and then after Carly yeah, I think her came home, her mother said, "Yes, she fought mentally and physically." You know, that that that's like. That that's black female conditioning, right? What movie was that? I I fought yeah. all. What movie was that? I fought all my life. Was that color purple? Well, I think that was the color purple. I had to fight all my life. What I'm saying is, I can take it back even further. Damn, damn, damn! Who said that? <laughs> all right, that's good times. What I'm saying is. I think her mother... R.I.P. to Florida Evans. Damn, damn, damn! <laughs> I'm sorry, good, Janica. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking, as I stated before, that I think her mother, in the, in the, in the word of, <laughs> using the word program, I'm thinking that her mother raised her to be a certain way, didn't let that woman breathe, didn't let her socialize the way she was supposed to socialize. I'm thinking educationally wise and social wise are two different things. There are two different separate IQs. A lot of people mix them together, but they're not. I'm thinking that socially, she was not adept to handle any situation that was going on. Let me hear you say Carly Russell is a liar. Say it. Well, Carly Russell is a liar. Yeah. I mean, like, it's, it's as simple as that. Yeah. She's a liar. You know? Now but, let's move on a second, Janet. We'll come back to... What I'm Car saying is... J Jan Janet, can we move on to uh, Northwest Charlotte? Did, did a did a older mm -hmm. did an older mammy with gray edges, you can see her picture in my community section, did she catch a young bitch slipping up in her house? Did she catch a slip? Well, can I ask you, can I ask you a question on that? Did she walk in on them having, like, carnal knowledge, or did she... Was she home and told and invited the girl in? Janet, I want you to listen like you've never listened before because, you know, when I come to this microphone, I have sources. The statement. Okay. The statement that was given to the North. Um, hold on a second. That was given to the Northwest Charlotte Police from Stephanie Alexander was she came home. And the 25-year-old Tyra Crosby was in the home. They, they okay. so, something happened from there, but 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 again, she got her. Even if she lured her into the home, she got her in the home. Do you think that we have to put some respect on the older mammy, the young the young woman? I don't know if she was necessarily a lady, fucking around with a married man. Is, is this is this is is this mammy flexing? Fifty one caught the young girl in the house in the house. <laughs> Pow Come on, Janet. No, she was wrong for killing that girl. She should have she she should have killed her husband if she was gonna kill anybody else. Her husband is that's who she married. She didn't marry that young girl. She could have whooped the young girl ass all she wanted to, but the person that's supposed to be laying down, if anybody's supposed to be laying down, was supposed to be her husband. Why I disagree. The anger at the woman. I disagree. You, you're not well, hear, you you're not hearing me. You're not hearing me. Did the older mammy catch the young girl slipping? Never mind this nigga. This nigga's well, a yeah. bum. Dan, hang on, hang on. You spoke. Let me speak. This nigga's a bum. This nigga, this nigga ain't worth going to the penitentiary for. But you, bitch, riding around town, styling and profiling up on the gram. You're young. You, you got the uh, uh, you got your lace front. This, this whole ass nigga probably paid for it with my money. You, I'm gonna teach a lesson to. 
I see you up on the ground. I see you on the gram, flossing Uber Eats. Hey y'all, hey y'all. I'm I'm going to Dubai. <laughs> you, I'm going to teach you a lesson. Got the baby out. I'm going to line you up. <laughs> Janet, let me speak. I let you speak. I'm going to line you up. This is the South. This is North Carolina. You're from the North, Janet, so so it might be over your head. Uh, I say that with all due respect. I'm going to line you up. I'm going to get you in this goddamn house, and, and I'm going to show you how we do it, old school style. Now, finish up, Janet. No, well, I'm just well. I'm just saying, hey, if that's the way it went down, she did. She then she lined her up because my. Oh, well, wait a minute! 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 So you're telling me that the the older woman lined the young girl up, right? And she so she thought about it and she, and she committed this crime. Correct. I, I'm assuming. That's what you think. I'm assuming. Listen, I'm a man of a certain age. I've. I've seen these things. I've already stated months ago, ain't no mammy like a down south mammy. They get it cracking. Mammies up north be pump faking, respectfully. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so so if I say that the mammy lined the young girl up, mammy knew that that girl was creeping over to her house at a certain time. She knew the law. She said, hey, if I go over there, if I'm there when she get there, it's a different story. If I meet outside the house, it's a different story. But if I go inside the house and she's in the house, mm-hmm. I can pretend that I didn't know that she was inside the house and go in there and whoop her ass and then kill her and then claim Bingo. Um, um, pat, uh, uh, Bingo. A moment of passion. Bingo. Bingo. Right. Yeah. Okay, so you're saying that the man needs to sort it out. Janet, I want you to to uh, Google heat of the passion law when you get time. He, uh, heat of passion. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, no, I got that part. Okay. I got that part. Okay. I just want you to. Uh, I just want you to hear what you're telling me. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's okay. What I'm All right. Hey, listen, <laughs> you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and listen to the show. I know the guys are tired of listening to me and hear me. Thank you, Janet. Okay. Thank you, Janet. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a good night. I don't want to give Mammy no credit, but the troll babies did. Did Manny, Mammy, line her up? How do I get this bitch in the house? I work hard. My feet hurt. Hmm. This bitch is up on uh, TikTok. Talk, talk. Talking reckless. I got this bum ass nigga here. He ain't worth a damn. How do I get this girl in the house? Uh, sit tight on the phones, guys. Three three zero five nine one two seven zero four. Sit tight, sit tight. Uh, your Sicilian cuzzo. Hey Troy, it's been a minute. Heard you were back in Jersey. Might have to pay you a visit uh, with a few of your affiliated cousins. Hashtag half a nigger. Nah, no thanks. (laughs) Are you from North Jersey? (laughs) More than likely. No thanks. (laughs) But thanks for the donation. Uh, The realist nigger mammy. Star, I clapped the hell out of that. Uh, Ooh. Okay, that's a hard shot. She thought she was fitting a pee pop all over my man. I gave her two pistol whips and an uppercut. Damn, hashtag mammy for life. Mm-mm. Big R Key says victim, LOL. Nah, lock her pudgy ass up too. He's talking about Carly Russell. A good prison diet. Will do her big ass wonders, and the woman in Charlotte should have shot the nigger too. Pow. Okay, thank you. <laughs> big Ark. <laughs> Old Taku says, uh, Will you be covering the Spence Crawford fight this Saturday? I'm not sure. Let me say right now, I'm kind of leaning towards Crawford. I'm leaning towards 
Crawford. But uh, I, I, I got some, what's today? Uh, I got to go to Jersey tomorrow. Pardon me, pardon me, New York, I'm, I'm in Jersey. And then I got to go back to, after I go to New York, however much time that takes, that's going to be a, a couple of hours. And I have to go to Teaneck, New Jersey, file some papers and then, I'll keep you posted, okay? But thank you for your donation. Um, T says, what do you call a woman eating now Hold on a second. And Mexican food in the woods for two days. Oh, wow. A lying blank bitch. Uh, that's why I keep snow around. Okay, he's just going in on black women. William Bobo, uh, two mammies engaging in fisticuffs outside and one shot and killed the other. These women trying to be men with egos. Bitch, go in the house and fry some chicken. Are you talking about the two women? Um, I saw that video yesterday. One of them had an extended clip and she's shooting and filming. That was a beautiful video, if that's what you're talking about, okay? Um, let's go to area code 912. <laughs> Got to turn that down in the background. <laughs> Sorry, folks, I can't do that. was really noisy. Area code 305, good evening. Carly Russell has apologized by way of a lawyer. This was a hoax. Are you up to speed, 305? Yes, no, maybe. 305, got to go. In five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Area code seven zero four. Monday night, late night, uh, to be precise. Carly Russell has apologized. Are you at the speed? Seven zero four. Hold on a second. In five, four, three, two. One, folks, I, I can't do this speakerphone thing. You're either ready or you're not. Please don't call me on a speakerphone. You're doing something, you know. Are you ready? Are you ready? Maurice? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, good evening. Come on, come on. Yeah, my bad. What's up, What's up, big nigga? I, I just got a question. Are we Are we still believing all women? Excuse is me? That, are, that are we, what? 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 Is. What? What? I said, are we still believing all women? Are we still believing all women? Can you hear me? Sir, don't ask me questions. Get to the topic. Come on. You know the routine, I'm talking about man. Carly. I'm talking about Carly. She came out and she admitted that she lied. And, you know, they have this whole thing in the women community that we're supposed to believe all women, no matter what they say. And, obviously, she's full of shit. Tell us, sir. Do we believe all women? I'm 59. How old are you? How old are you? I'm 32. Okay. Do you believe all women? Yeah. Do you believe all women? I I could never. Okay. <laughs> I could never. Okay. Because, you know, we have this thing in the black community where, you know, your sister comes up to you or your cousin comes up to you and say their boyfriend put their hands on you. They did this, then the third. And you find out that they've been giving him wheel kicks and uppercuts the whole time. Mm -hmm. And he retaliated. And they want you to air the whole block up. So I just find it amusing that we... Well, white women are vicious too now, sir. White women are vicious. White, white women will lie on you, you know, t take it to the next level, call your job report you to uh, d different agencies, try and jam you up for years. It's not just black women. But let's focus on Carly Russell. She has apologized by way of a lawyer. The lawyer wasn't at the press conference today. She wasn't there. Her mo mama wasn't there. What do you think about Carly Russell apologizing? Should she go to jail, be arrested? What do you think? <laughs> they should throw the book at her ass. No, like for real, because she messes it up for the rest of black women because they already have it hard enough. You know what I mean? Especially with us, we give them a hard time. So you know the white man giving them a hard time times 10. So it's like you come out here, you, you tell this crazy-ass lie, you have everybody looking for you because we're supposed to believe you now. And okay. you out here thotting and bopping, you with your sneaky link, 
You know what I mean? Okay. You want to go around and do whatever God knows what over the weekend, sneaking and geeking, and it's all BS. Okay. They should lock her ass up. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your call, man. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Um. Maurice, thank you, man. I got your email. Salute to you. 713, sit tight, sit tight. 713, I'm going to make sure I acknowledge people who are supporting the machine via Cash App, PayPal. You are appreciated. Ace, Ace, did we speak? Area code 240. If not, Ace, thank you for your support, man, okay? Um, Denzel got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. I think the mother orchestrated this. I really do. Carly Russell's mother. She was just a little too eager to get on camera. She probably told Carly, you know, get, get rid of your boyfriend here. He's soft. And the baby's soft. And, and he... He flipped. He folded like a lawn chair. Yes, you know. <laughs> Started deleting, deleting pictures and shit. <laughs> Area code 713. Good evening. Carly Russell has Yo. apologized. 713. My nigga. What's poppin'? Sounds like Houston. How are you, man? Let's go. Let's go. We're riding. Man, I'm sitting over here. The what? We're riding. We're riding on mammies. Don't get it twisted. The war on mammies okay. is real. Let's go. Okay, man. I knew. I knew she was lying from day one, Carly. I knew it. I knew it. It's just like you feel it. It's like, huh? First of all, she left her weave and her phone, my nigga. Don't no black woman leave her weave and her phone at nowhere. She might leave her phone, but she gonna take her weave. Right. I knew she was lying. Cause she saw a baby. <laughs> Man, whatever she was on, dog, it was some good shit. Okay. I'm telling you. And then, and then her mama ain't shit because she sat up there co-signing that. That's what's wrong with these black women. That's why. This is why, my nigga. This is why I don't fuck with them. This type of shit right here. And then the mama is not sitting up saying, Man, this bitch lying. You know what I'm talking about? The daddy sitting back buck broken. Making a black family unit look bad. Mm -hmm. They already don't want to search for women. I agree. And then she get her ass up there doing this. I agree. Like that's why they, that's why black women can't get no support. They sit up and help other black women. They culture through generations of fuck shit. This here should be an eye opener. Why people don't help out black women and why they don't fuck with them. This is, should be an example of why. I, I think it is. I mean, they're already uh, on social media. I saw another story. I'm going to see if I can pull it now. They're already talking about, um, you know, black women, hoaxes nationwide. Um, so so uh, it's there is going to there is a ripple effect going on here, if you ask me. Go ahead. And then look at the bitch over there in Dubai. She didn't know how to shut her damn mouth. Black woman. Yeah. You get where I'm going? Everywhere they go, they do dumb shit because they're not getting checked here. I think they need to start doing that here. These mammies will stay at home or something. They'll learn how to cook. Why is a mammy always somewhere where she ain't supposed to be acting up? Why are you acting like that in public? This is why we don't deal with black women. You don't see no other women doing this or they publicly showing it. All you see is these black bitches. That's why. I don't fuck with them. That right. Well, now, hang on a second, Houston. Objectively speaking, uh, there are white women that do a lot of low down, degrading stuff. I mean, very, very degrading. The media doesn't pick it up for the most part because they need to have their foot on the necks of you know the, the underclass. You, you know this. Um, but but with regards to the uh, Carly Russell situation. Any any thoughts on the mother? Uh, you're a man of a certain age. Uh, you're a father. How many daughters do you have? I forget. I got four. 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 
What if, yeah. what if anything should Carly Russell's mother now say? She's as quiet as a church mouse. We hear nothing. She should come. She should come out and apologize to everybody for the way her child acted and the way she acted, and got it portraying black women like that. I deal with black women, but not that, because they wouldn't have no news if they wasn't acting like this or doing shit like mm -hmm. this. That's what I mean. Is why I don't deal with black women. That right there. Why don't these other black women check each other? She should check herself and say, this wasn't right. Like, get up there like a woman, and that dude that's buck broken, he don't need to be up there. Because he, he embarrassing himself. Yeah. Not saying nothing. He know it was a lie. And lock up the boyfriend. Lock all of them up. <laughs> that's just how I feel. I appreciate you, man. Um, how often do you go live? I get your emails from time to time. If you want to... Uh, but promote your oh, platform. Oh, shit. I was going live tonight to talk about this story. Y'all can go to Kennedy Throw Therapy 2.0. Mm -hmm. Kennedy Throw Therapy Radio 2.0. I'm going live tonight around okay. about 11.30 nigga time. Okay. Good to talk to you, man. Salute. All right, man. Thanks for having me up here, dog. Yes, Salute. sir. Salute. Okay. Houston went kind of easy tonight, didn't he, Troll Babies? Usually Houston goes in. And I didn't tell him, you know. Take it easy. Um, Carly Russell has apologized. Well, her lawyer, to be precise. We still have not seen her. How about we put the theory on the side that her mother may have coached her, programmed her, influenced her, and groomed her? Let's put that on the side. Maybe Carly is just a newer black female. She doesn't know any real suffering, you know? She wasn't raised uh, in, in a time period of segregation. All she knows is social media. Maybe it's not the mother's fault at all. Maybe it's just who Carly is, influenced by the low-level activity that she sees on a daily basis. Maybe she's just always on the phone. Maybe she came up with this by herself. I mean, she was searching these things, the movie Taken, Amber Alerts, how to steal out of the register at work. Yes, we're smoking on a Carly Russell pack. Yes. I don't have my contacts on, but I think somebody said that in the live chat. Yes. Will she be shunned now by the quote-unquote black community, or will she be forgiven like Jesse Smollett? Oh, my goodness. I can't believe people are literally giving this guy a pass and, and forgiving him. And 917, sit tight. You're up next. 917, sit tight. Let me go back to Cash Shep. I want to um, get through some of these. Dominic, I got your donation. Thank you so much. Black racist. Ooh, okay, black racist has sent me information on uh, the 25-year-old who's no longer with us, Tyra Crosby. Was Tyra Crosby scheming and scamming? Okay, she was arrested for simple assault. Simple assault, that's that's not, you know. Hang on a second. Um, how much time did she serve? I, I need more time to read this. Um, area code 917, good evening. You there, 917. Carly Russell admits that it was a hoax. There was no toddler. Are you at the speed? 917. Yes, no, maybe we have to go. Please don't call me on speakerphone. 917, got to go. Uh, black racist, can can you, I'm going to respond to your email. Area code 423, good evening. 423. Are you there? You ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How are you? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Here's my thing. Like, if we could just all think alike which is impossible 
But I'm on some Tupac shit, I guess. Uh, if we could all understand that we all mess up, you know what I'm saying? But that her mess up was on a whole nother level. So maybe she don't have a level. Uh, she don't have no level. You feel me? I hear you. I hear you. She don't. She don't have a level. Like we know. Like okay, mama's coming. You know what I'm saying? Clean up the crib a little bit, baby. You know what I'm saying? Uh, put out some. You know what I'm saying? Let's cook a little food. Whoop, 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 whoop. You know, you change your attitude. Some people just don't have that level of. I don't know how to explain it. I guess. Uh, well, sir, are people, you talking about Carly Russell or Tyra Crosby? In Charlotte, <laughs> who are you talking about? Who are you talking about? Sir? I'm saying like some people are just savages. No, no, I, I got that part, but which topic are you addressing? I'm a little lost here. Carly Russell? Oh, no, I'm talking about Carly, the Carly girl. God bless her soul. Yes, sir. Come on, come on, come on. So, like, maybe she just doesn't, maybe she was just not raised, you know what I'm saying? She just wasn't raised the way that a lot, most of us are. Like, I mean, is Melly guilty? They say that a little nigga went into the, after the funeral to eat dinner or whatever, dancing and shit. Nigga made a video the next day. You feel me? <laughs> Wearing the same clothes and shit. Like, <laughs> these young, these younger niggas don't have no, no, uh, no parameters. They zero zero to a hundred, yeah. yeah. No timing belt. Mm. Floor to the dash. Do the dash. Which is sad. But it's in the Bible. You said you said no timing belt for people who didn't catch that, right? No timing belt. No timing belt. Oh. I like that. I like that. Let it breathe. Y'all's words. Now, now, hang on a second. Um, uh, it's late night. We, we in a different time. Right, right, right. No, no, it, it's late night. It's late night. Do you think that Carly is just a lying nigga, bitch? Let's go there. Just a lying nigga, bitch. Nah, uh, you know what? God bless you, Carly. I can only imagine what you're going through. <sighs> Goodness gracious. But for well, you. Well, how old are you, sir? Guts? How old are you? How old are you? I'm 40 years old. You can't imagine what that... I'm 40 years old. Sir, sir, you can't, you can't imagine what that 25-year-old black female from Alabama is going through. You can't. Nor can I. No, I, I can't. I, I can't. It's, it's insane. But I don't think that we should just kick her while she's... You know what I mean? Mental health is real. Mental health is real, so I don't think that throwing her in prison, what's that? What good is that going to do for her? Okay, yeah, you. Well, now hang on a second. We're having a conversation. I didn't say put her in prison. I would like to see her mother handcuffed. But no, no, let's not do that mental health thing. When they did the first press conference, the police chief already said there's no history of mental health. Let's not play that little game. You know, everybody doesn't have right. issues and need fucking therapy and pills. Maybe this is just a lying, nothing ass, 25-year-old from Alabama, lives on the gram, doing too much, you know, and full of shit. Finish up. Right. I feel that. I feel that, too. Okay. But maybe she's never even been, uh, maybe she's been a straight-A student. Who knows? No. Her whole life. Okay. And then she wants to rebel. Or I'm thinking maybe she missed that dude. And she just wants attention. I don't I don't know. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. But let's give her let's give people a chance. That's what I'm on. Give okay. people a chance. Okay, okay. Well, somebody's gotta pay back uh the city of Hoover for all the goddamn money that was wasted. So we can give her a chance, but that, that, that money's gotta come back. Thank you for the call, sir. Oh Thank yeah. You, you you know them white folks. They want their money back. They wouldn't have been out there if it wasn't for her saying it was a little white dude, a right. kid out there. Yeah, yeah. She fucked up. Yes. She should She should have said it was a little black baby. They would have said, okay, we'll just stay there. We'll try and get a cruiser. It's going to be.
It's gonna be. Wanna... It's gonna be about thirty minutes. <laughs> so I gotta go. I, I gotta go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank. You. Okay. Is that is that what Carly fucked up saying it was a white baby? Um, guys, starting tomorrow, I have a brand new sponsor. Hold on a second. Uh, the sponsor right now, www.pushingforward.nyc. That's a great realtor in the New York tri-state area. His name is Joshua B., okay, if you're looking for any type of commercial or um, uh, uh, investment properties or residential properties, Joshua B., www pushingforward.nyc okay and starting tomorrow here's a new sponsor florenceamari.com uh in my community section there is a banner and a link to florence's um uh not just um the website but also the amazon and the uh, the other platform that you can uh check out some of some of the products etsy as well okay let's go to area code 718 Late night, Carly Russell Yo. has apologized. It was a hoax. Are you up to speed? 718. Yeah, yeah. You can hear me, though. I can hear you, sir. How are you? How are you? I'm well, brother. I'm well. You know what I mean? Um, I don't mean to call you, brother. You know what I mean? That's just, it's you know, okay. lack of, uh, okay. you know what I mean? It's late night. How are you, sir? What do you want so to start? Like, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. What do you go? So, are, are we respecting the algorithm tonight? Well, sir, have you sent in a donation? What, 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 you you, you want to curse up a storm? What do you want to do? <laughs> Nah, 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 nah. I sent in the I sent in the cash app. I sent in the ten dollar cash app. Okay, thank you. you know what so, so, so uh, I, just, I just didn't want to get. Too... <laughs> okay, where do you want to go first? Let's I, take... I didn't want to get reckless. Okay, you know what do you, me? Where do you want to go first? You have the floor. Come on. Well, let's let's talk about Carly. Come on. Right. So you know the one thing that we have in fact is that this just might have been a hot girl summer day. Mm. You know what I mean? That went wrong. Okay. You know what I mean? She. The boyfriend might not have been piping it down like she wanted to. She met a dude in, you know, Nashville, Tennessee. You know what I mean? She didn't have no other way to, you know, to give her any real excuse for why she was gone for a couple of days getting piped down. Mm -hmm. And so she said she got kidnapped and it just went awry. You know what I mean? Now. Well, I, I put that on the table already when this story first broke. I said maybe she just, you know, she wanted to get away. So, uh, but she has... Now admitted to you know the hoax. Um, did you see? Was it Twitter or Instagram? There was a uh, something going around on social media. It was a picture of Carly. I'm not sure if it was. I'm sure it wasn't her her uh, account. Uh, but but the caption said, "I never said I was missing. Y'all did." <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I mean everybody was you know saying there was drugs. I'm saying it might have been just some pipe, man. She right, might have right. just been a little digmatized. Right, right, right. And you know what I mean? She didn't have no real excuse. So she said somebody <laughs> came down this. She got piped down for a couple of days. You know, what I mean? you know, she took the wig off. So whoever it was that she was with was yeah. cool with her not having the wig on. You know what I'm saying? So, so <laughs> you feel me? So, you know what I mean? She might have just took a little extra hot girl summer day and it just went awry. She, now, the, what, she, what she messed up at right. is when she called the police and said she seen the baby on the side of the road. A white baby, sir. That's that, wrong. Sir, sir. A white baby. A white yeah, baby. you don't do that. Don't play with white babies. That, we got an ambulance. You know, down south, you get right. that, somebody kid's missing, you know, it's some, it's some kind of uh, court thing going on. Somebody right. took the kid. Everything stops. Yeah. So... That's where she messed up. If she'd have just called the sister and been like, oh, I think they're trying to take me, and then just dropped the phone and took a wig, we might not have been tripping about it. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. But she she went, she, she, she didn't use, because I, I lived in, not, I didn't live in Hoover, but I lived in Jefferson County, right? Oh, okay. And they 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 have a, um like I do know of a story where a chick was playing with a dude and telling people that she was pregnant. And she went as far as even to steal the baby to try to keep this up. Mm. Remember, this was like a couple of years ago down there. You know what okay. I mean? Okay. So they not, you know, it's not beyond them down there to just cook up, you know what I mean, a, a Peter Pan story. So I'm just throwing in there, you know, like you said, the objective perspective. Maybe it was just a hot girl summer day and it, it went a little bit, you know what I mean? And we'll see in the interim when we find out the next press conference with some new dude. Yeah. Now, hang on a second. You sound like a man of experience. And knowledge. I want to talk about um, the 51-year-old Stephanie Alexander 
uh, down there in Northwest Charlotte. She she caught the 25 year old in her home. We don't know what she was doing there. I'm I'm not saying she was you know um, um, a low grade person, but somehow she wound up in Stephanie's home. Tyra Crosby, 25 years of age. There's conflicting reports. Uh, charged with involuntary manslaughter and released in a couple of hours, and she made bond. Are you up to speed on that story? Yeah, it sounds like to me like a carpet munching relationship gone wrong. No, 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 you know no, 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 sir, 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 sir. Her husband, Stephanie's husband, <laughs> according to the report, police report, invited the young girl over. If you're not at the speed, just say, I don't know, rather than... No, no, I, I don't know all of the details, but what I'm saying is, you know, sometimes people have, um, they have uh, little uh, fetishes, and they don't want to come out about it, you know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, like we got the whole um, Adam 22 jumper, no jumper thing going gotcha. on, people be gotcha. having people sleeping yeah. with their wives and stuff like that. You know, it could have went, you know, she might have did something extra that homegirl didn't like, and she, you know, she was like, I got to clap the bra. Like, yo, okay. you're doing too much, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I appreciate the call, sir. And thank you know, you. it's just it's a, it's a theory. It's a theory. It's a theory. Yeah. You feel me? I appreciate the donation. Thank you. Absolutely, brother. I have a, I'm... Stop with the brother stuff, man. Sheesh. Zell nine one two. Zell one two says, "Lock that nigga bitch up." Well, let's go. Let's go. I said she was a liar out the gate. I, I called Cap, as you guys say. Cap! Cap! Lock her the fuck up. But I want to see the mother now. I'm, I'm sure we won't. Or, or, it would take a lot. It would take a lot for the mother to address the, the media. She would have to change her demeanor i don't think she's capable of it yeah um guys on the screen youtube.com forward slash at alpha villains okay daily content great guy uh youtube.com uh, forward slash at alpha villains he and florida boy jerry doing uh, some con content pardon me together as well okay black race has got your donation uh doesn't look like the girl did any time but she did get arrested three times, twice for a simple assault, and another time for assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill. Okay, I got your, your email. Black Racist, thank you for the clarity. So Tyra Crosby, according to Black Racist and his email, arrested three times, twice for a simple assault. So, again, did the 51-year-old mammy... Catch the young girl lacking. Bitch, you in my home. <laughs> Shit's different now. All, all, all that popcorn shit y'all talk over in uh, Raleigh. <laughs> it stops today. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> all that goofy shit out in Durham. <laughs> It comes to a screeching halt today. Bitch, you in Northwest Charlotte. And I got to learn you. Do they still say that? I got to learn you right. That's that old Southern shit. Mm, got to learn you right. It's probably like way old. Anyway, um, thank you, Black Racist, for the clarity. Uh, Brooklyn Crook got your donation. Uh, the jesting court of niggadum is the Painful bliss of comedy. Okay. Thank you for your donation. Appreciate you, man. Um, hey, Spring, I got your... Which Spring is that? I don't have my contacts in. Thank you, Spring, if that's the Spring who I think it is from Texas. Thank you for tapping in. Spring, if that's the spring from Texas, spring is, is Houston going to hell like Atlanta? <laughs> I, I had to get the fuck out of Atlanta. Oh man, and, and, uh, we spoke about it already. Um, area code D 
201, sit tight, you're up next, sit tight. Larry got you donation. Jesse said, same ish. I fought back. Yeah, right, Jesse Smollett. That bitch ass nigga. He's from Jersey too, uh, Jesse Smollett. I go, I go so hard at four or five. That's what he said when they first interviewed him about, about uh, the whole fucking uh, fiasco and why he was attacked. I go so hard at four or five. No, you're just a bitch nigga. Uh, GR bro, uh, are you on the line? Or did we speak? I, th I think we spoke already. Let me bring in area code 201. Late night. Late night. Carly Russell has admitted to the fault of her ways. Are we kicking her back in? 201. Yes, no, maybe? Yeah, I, 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 think, I, think, I think we should kick her back in. Come on. And, and not, not, not only do I think should we kick her back in, I think, I think she said that there was a white baby on purpose. She's, she was seeking so much attention mm. that she knew if she would have said a black baby, <laughs> she, she wasn't going to go nowhere. Let's she go. had her head. If I say a white baby, right, right. I know I'm going to get some attention. They coming out here. Right. So, so I think she kind of knew what she was doing Come on. as far as when she said the white baby. Come on. I also think... If they don't at least give her 30 days, at least 30 days, she needs to get a hell of a fine, a hell of a fine, because they hurt them pockets. If they give her a fine that they know she can't afford, you have black people start rethinking this attention, uh, attention seeking, disappearing acts and, you know, what have you. But now the thing is, the question that I have is, what's the difference with running away and missing. I mean, you understand what I'm saying? Did, did right. she run away? Right, right, right. I mean, right. what's the difference between running away and just outright missing? I'm I'm not sure technically. You know, I mean, I, I guess it would it would depend on the state. Some states have um, uh, laws where you can't report someone missing if it hasn't been past 48 hours. You know, but but I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, you know, if if you don't respond to people, if you don't contact someone, would you technically be missing? Because some people just don't want to, you know, some people just want to get away, yeah. don't want don't want to be bothered, mm -hmm. don't want to be fine. That don't mean they was abducted, but yeah. when you make up that story, yeah. you should be charged. You should be charged. And not only that, not only that, <laughs> You put somebody's little white baby in harm's way. Ima imaginary baby. A, imaginary. Yeah, imaginary baby. <laughs> but that, 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 that was my whole point. I think she should be tough. Stay with me. Stay with me. Made stay up the stay whole with way. me. Is, is there a charge for making up an imaginary white baby in Alabama and, and making people... Yes, that's... Hang, hang on, hang on. And, and then making people uh, work... Uh, double and triple overtime, and then and then the county has to pay for that. There might there might be a law in the books. You can't make up imaginary shit and then cost the county money. Might be a charge or fine. Yeah, you're you you you're causing uh what is it? False public harm alarm. Right. <laughs> Isn't that a charge? <laughs> well, 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 I know, I know, I know. In Jersey, I know in Jersey. That's I think I believe that's a charge. <laughs> Causing pu false public alarm or something? You, that's a charge of here. Okay, okay. Yeah. Hey, before so, before you go, any knowledge on King Yella out in um, California? Uh, he claimed. Well, he showed a video claiming that the essays shot up his vehicle with his children. Yep, speed. No, no, no. I'm not up to speed with that nonsense. I never was up to speed with that cat. Yeah. Okay, okay. I appreciate yeah. the call, man. Thank you. Thank you for tapping in. You got it. Late night. Late night with the bullshit. Troll Babies, has uh, WAC 100 spoke about King Yella yet? He showed a video. King Yella showed a video. Gunshots through the goddamn window. Was that San Bernardino? I was just out there in November. It's a hellhole. 
I had fun there back in, uh, was it 82, the Us Festival? It's a hellhole now. It's, it's gone to shit. Um, Mandy, I got your donation. Thank you so much. Thank you, Janet. Okay, well, Janet, he's gone off the line. I'm sorry. Uh, did you call back? Janet said, said, may I speak to Houston? He's gone. But thank you, Janet, for tapping back in your donation. Um, Oba got your donation. I don't see a message, but thank you. I'm going to hang out a little bit longer, guys, but I got to get up early in the morning and try and get, well, I, I have to get on the road. Go to New York. Jesus. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Deeds. Deeds up late night. Deeds sent me a link. Carly Russell's uh, boyfriend speaks out. Deeds, is he really speaking? Because that I saw a story two days ago with the boyfriend telling people to stop bullying her. And the link that you sent me, Deeds, is that really Carly Russell's IG page? Because that page said, hold on a second, uh, at Carly Nicole, that's the page that said, I never said I was missing. Y'all did. Seven one eight. I'm doing a little research here, uh, but you're on the line. Are you there? Good evening. Late night. Seven. What's up, big bro? Yes, sir. How are you? I'm good. It's cash from the hill. From the hill. What's cracking? Cash from the hill. You are? Okay. Okay. What's cracking? Yeah, man. They need to flame her dumb ass. I'm. Um, excuse me, brother. I'm, I apologize. It's okay. It's, it's late night, man. We're, they we're, need to flame her. It's late night. Don't worry about the algorithm. Let's go. Let's Carly go. <laughs> Yeah, they need to flame her to want a Broly part two. Mm, right. You know, all these missing black women out here, and you want to cause a scandal and, and show your ass. And I don't know about her boyfriend. Like, you really going to stand by that? Like, I'm not with it. Maybe she was with him. I don't know. But, you know, I like what you're doing. I respect the show. Thank you, man. Thank you. You've been holding it down for a long time. You know. Well, now hang on a second. You sound like a man. Of, you sound like a man of knowledge. I'm I, I'm calling for the mother, uh, Carly Russell's mother, to be investigated. I, she 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 strikes me as, as the queen, mammy type. You know, uh, I think she she she, she 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 worked on her daughter's <laughs> mind over the years. You know, groomed her, facts, programmed facts. her. Conditioned her, and and here we have a clusterfuck. I want to see the mama, you know, uh, talking to the media. What say you? Absolutely, absolutely. The whole damn family. Let's get them. Let's get them under the damn microscope. Because I, I, you know, man, Chris Rock said, um, he said it best. I love black people, but I hate n words. Yeah, yeah. The n words have to go. Mm -hmm. Because we out here trying to survive and hold it down and, and take care of business. And y'all out here playing games. You know, Richard Pryor actually said that years before Chris Rock. I mean, Chris Rock gets credit because... Oh, word? Oh, yeah. yeah Richard Pryor said that, man, back in... The OG. The big the big OG. 74, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. But people give Chris Rock the credit because we have social media. So it gets programmed into their heads. But... um. So, so yeah. Um, uh, any, any, any thoughts? Any, I definitely respect the old school. Yeah. Any <laughs> knowledge on uh, the 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 woman out in um, uh, uh, Charlotte caught a young girl in her home, clapped her. She's out of here. You know that story? You, you, you said they caught. You said they caught the girl. What? If you're not at the speed, don't worry about it. There, there's um, West nah. Northwest Charlotte. Okay, don't worry about it, man. I appreciate the call, man. Thank you. Thank you. All right, big bro. Yes, Stay sir. up, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Yes, sir. Salute. Okay. Goo, I got your donation. Big nigga. Stop by if you're in Teaneck. <laughs> Goo, I'll hit you in the morning, man. I got to go to 
Harlem, then one police plaza. It's going to be a long day. I'm going to try and get to Teaneck tomorrow. If not, then I'm going to spend the night at a hotel and I'll be in Teaneck Wednesday. But I'll keep you posted, all right? Thank you for your donation. Um, William Bobo, Carly Russell, look like Pokemon. Uh, okay. Zell912 got your donation. Okay, somebody sent a crazy super chat, and I just I wanted to be careful before I read it. Um, 209, is that Randy? 209, tap in late night. Yo, what's up? What's up, Ali Kwan? Good to hear from you, man. What's cracking? What's cracking with you? Yeah, I just want to ride on this lying female, bro. Her race got nothing to do with what I'm about to say. Come on. Why, when people doubt a bitch, the the world says that we aren't allies of the females. Why do people question us for having a suspicion of a bitch's story when stuff isn't adding up? Her mom looked like she was enjoying her five minutes of fame. Her dad's face said, nigga, help me. These bitches is crazy. Right. Her dad looked like he was a hostage during that interview. Right. And at one moment, I, she, the mother snitched on herself. They were in cahoots together. They... This was a thought-out plan of the mother and the daughter seeking clout in the new age. I don't want to hear that she felt kidnapped or I never said I was kidnapped. The mother on book went and took donations from the neighbors. They put out an Amber Alert. They said her family said they were she was missing, not us. Right. Yeah. So yeah. the fact that now... People are going to say, oh, but that doesn't take away from the real black women that went missing. Yes, it does take away because money and resources were taken away from real missing targets for a scatile female that just was looking for some clout. Um, so, well, the story has... The story has unraveled. She has apologized through her lawyer. So, so what do you say now? Uh, do you want to see Carly There's Russell? There's no accountability. Okay, but do you want to see Carly Russell arrested? What do you want to see? Never mind the mother for right now, because I'm yeah. that was just I my, my theory. I want to see her fined and arrested. I want to see. I want to see both fined and arrested. Okay. I want her to be made an example of. People in America need to be made an example of. This is a new generation where 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 stuff is sweet. Back in the days, if you frauded a police station, they'll be calling for your head. They would have been handcuffs on her today. Today. How, how you apologize through your lawyer? That's not even accountability. She should yeah. have done a live. She should have done a press conference. Well, yeah, yeah. I think the disrespect at this point. Call it to mental health. I think the disrespect at this point might bring on uh, uh, an arrest. You know, I'd be okay with that. I, I want to start a petition. I want to start a petition You're trolling. right now for her arrest. <laughs> yeah. If you do, I'm not. If you I'm do, dead ass star. send me the email if you do. If you do. I want to start a petition because stuff like this, people need to be held accountable in this new generation. Because now people are going to go with, oh, they're going to defend her. They're going to cave for this, for this bitch, bro. And I don't like that because there are real targets of this. There are real people that get human sex trafficked, get kidnapped. But... This woman probably went on a two-day bender off the Woola and had a little fun in a hotel room. Come on, she Googled how to rob from, a, from her job. She wanted to get a couple bucks, probably go MIA for like, a, I know the play. I know the play. She wanted us to be crying for her like she was a white-haired, blue-eyed goddess. Mm. And she... It now, broke- now, hang on, Randy, because you said you weren't going to make this a race thing, but you just interjected that. Your, your girlfriend's Caucasian. Might you be lashing out at the black woman? Is this some type of su- no, I'm some just type of suppressed feelings? I'm lashing out at the fact that she wanted the attention, got it within 24 hours, right. 48 hours, and then said, nah, it's too hot. 
is too gotcha. hot. Okay. I think if it was a white woman, she would have at least went missing for a week. Really shook the world up. Okay. But she knew that if she would have been gone for a week, we would have wanted to hold her accountable for using, for wasting our emotional time. Okay, Randy, I appreciate your call, man. I'm going to wrap this up because um, it's late, man. I got to get up early. Great to hear from you. We'll talk soon, all right? Okay, stay up, man. Stay up, man. Thank you. And always question. Folks, we're done here. Um, I started a show earlier. I was I was grooving, and then the goddamn a surge. I, I got to get things checked out here again. I'm in Stone Harbor, New Jersey, and I, I can't keep going through this. Everything else is perfect. I, I have been enjoying myself since I've returned to New Jersey. I didn't think I would. I was born and raised in this stir state, pardon me, but um, I got to get the, uh, the internet checked out. Guys, I appreciate your support this evening. If I missed any donations, um, it wasn't intentional.